Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. In this episode, we are going to install a set or a kit of Load Lifter 5000 air springs. Now, I've had air springs before, and I can tell you if you're going to tow anything within the uh, upper end of your max tow range, having the comfort and safety of air springs or airbags, whatever you want to call them, is a game changer. Not only do they help with the bounce, they make the ride smoother, they help with any body roll or sway. I use a weight distribution hitch for my uh, holiday trailer and sometimes I don't even know what's back there because it helps make sure you don't have any sag so your vehicle is completely level that keeps the steering feel proper and it's not light because you're lifting up the front end. Uh, this isn't a substitute to be able to tow more but it's going to allow you to tow that upper range like I said much more safely. Now this is a bolt-on kit that we shouldn't have to do any drilling um, so I'm going to tackle it bring you guys along for the ride. This will be a two part video. The first part, I'll take this bolt on kit. I'll show you how to put it all on, hook it up with just a standard compressor that maybe you have in your house. And then the follow up video will actually put an onboard wireless compressor. But I'm excited because I wanna do some towing this summer and get my holiday trailer out to the lake with the family, which I'm sure many of you do. And this is a game changer and it's gonna make me feel much more safe towing closer to my max tow range. So let's go. Okay, make sure your park brake is on. We got ours on here. The fancy electronic ones everyone loves. Now we want to jack it up because we want to make sure that we can put it on jack stands. And we have to position the jack stands far enough along the back of the frame to make sure that we're not in the way of mounting any of the hardware that we need to put in there. So let's get started. Okay, we got it up on jack stands, but I had to use four by four wood spacers because you want as much distance between your axle and the frame as possible. So you really want that axle to free hang, but I'm maxed out here. I'm just gonna put a block here. So I got a bit of a safety. Um, I trust these jack stands, that's not the problem. I made sure that the uh, way they're aligned, there's no you know lateral sway or anything like that. So I'm not concerned about safety, but I hope I got enough of a gap to work in there. If not, we're going to have to jack it up just a little bit higher and I'll probably just do it from the hitch here and just get that extra inch I need to clear those wheels off of the ground. So let's get started with uh, the assembly. Okay, we're just removing the brake line bracket here, a couple bolts. So it's got to be relocated so we can work with this uh, bump stop here. So now we're just uh, installing these spacers so that bracket sticks out a little bit from the frame. Okay, the spacers are on. You just want to torque these to about 10 pounds. Okay, now to take off the jounce bumpers or bump stops, 10 millimeter deep socket. Very easy to do. I started loosening this one. I'm choosing to use hand tools just for part of this at least to show that, you know, it's pretty simple. Okay, on the AT4s and the trail bosses, you have these spacers in here. These guys right there. We gotta use the drill here or ratchet and take these off. to undo these harness guards here. 
So you've got a couple T40 screws and then there's another one on that side. So we gotta take that off. And then we just leave this a little bit loose here so we can work around it. Just gonna unhook these brake line brackets, both sides. Got a little bit dirty, but we got the airbags installed. Everything's nice and tight. Our clearance is good. I'll double check all of that again later, but now it's time to run some air lines. So to illustrate, I've taken about six or seven hours to draw this diagram. Not really, maybe six or seven seconds, but we're gonna have a main feed come in here to a T. This T is gonna bridge off to this airbag, and then it's gonna bridge off here to another T, and then it's gonna go over to that airbag. And then this last T will also feed to a Schrader valve. So if the compressor doesn't work for whatever reason, then we can manually fill and we're not stranded without the use of the airbags. So let's run some lines. So if you look here in the frame, there is a convenient hole going right through. So I'm gonna pass the hose through there. And then you wanna make sure that your ends are perfectly squared off. and then plug it in. Okay, so that one's in, it's going through the frame. This uh, wheel well cover is kind of 
arched, so it allows for that to go through. Now we'll do the other side. There we go, plugged in. Okay, I don't want to get too close to the exhaust, so I'm going over one of the cross members of the frame here. And I'm going to bring these pieces over to this area. We're going to meet at the first T right up in this area here. Okay, one T installed. I haven't hooked up the second T yet because I'm hooking up that compressor in the next video. So I've just run a Schrader valve out the side here, which I can tuck away. But if I want to fill this up, which I'm going to demonstrate for you now, it's as easy as doing this. So there we go. I'm not going to leave it that high, but for demonstration purposes, now you can see. So the bag is inflated. Right now there is about 25 pounds in there. You have to keep at least five pounds in there minimal, which isn't going to really affect the ride height. Anything more than that, it'll start to lift the truck up. Uh, but once we put a heavy amount of weight on there, it'll start to uh, level off and uh, we can fiddle with the settings and what we find most comfortable. So when I was towing my holiday trailer, the same one with my last truck, around 70 pounds was the sweet spot. I'm not sure what it's going to be with this, but now I have the ability to do that having these airbags. So I'm going to let this down a little bit because it looks a little bit funny. All right, so this video is pretty much over. We've got it installed, but you don't want to miss the follow-up video, which I'll be working on very, very soon. But we're going to install this bad boy, which is our onboard compressor and wireless uh, control. So that'll be pretty cool. If you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. It's free. It's easy to do. Give it a try. We'll talk to you next time.